Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to some thrift stores again after yesterday's find that we got. Um, we are on a thrifting high, so let's get going and see what we can find. Here's the house. We're gonna head in and see what they have. It's a pretty big house. Cute little koala bear. It's a really nice room. I love it. With the windows. This is a nice piece of furniture. Mid-century feeling. They look like they're having fun. Absolutely love this couch. I love the color, I love the lines, I love everything. We decided to actually go to an antique store that is in the area. Um, wanted to do something new and different, so let's take a look and see what they have. Where's my friend Mike? I found these little Santas. They are so cute. Like five dollars each, though. He's a cute one. He's pretty big. See how much he's marked. Um, maybe there's a price in the bottom. Huh. No price. Got some really nice things up here. to see how much that Santa is in the back but that yellow one's really pretty looks a little newer got some girlies which are really good price maybe I'll grab some of those hmm. I know look at this color it's a great price the red is coming off a little bit but it's only 45 I do want to see, I can't see how much that paper mache Santa is in the back. There's some die cuts over here to need Halloween. I don't know how much, 95 for the one behind $95? Yeah. And some ornaments. What's that? I'm kind of maxed out on Halloween. Oh my god, she's maxed out on Halloween? How can you say that? Some blendo glasses that are nice. Look how big this ornament is. It's like the size of my head. It's beautiful. Wow. Oh yeah, she's cute. She was part of a Noel. Oh. Oh, she's only five dollars. How cute is she? Imagine if the rest was here. I know. Oh, it's too bad. Did you see the pots? Yeah, $60 for the ceramic tray. There's no price on these. 10? Are they in pencil? No. 10 cents. Oh, 10 cents. Originally. Yeah. <laughs> I like ones like that. Like, that's so cool. That's cool. But, I don't know. I do want some new some new as well. These are okay, they're not in the best condition. A little $28 snowman. Wow. That's an interesting blue mold.
These pails are really cute. This one's, was it 45? Yeah, I guess so. It's really cute. This is a nice turkey, but it looks newer to me. It doesn't look like a Japan piece. Found in a little bag of toys for $3.99. How do you do it? I don't know how I do it. I just saw it. Unbelievable. Why are they in here? <laughs> They look like little toy, toy animals, don't they? They do. Nice find. And I think they changed the colors today. Yes. They're... they're... Green is 25% off. Woo! Nice find. Nice find. And also look at these. The little uh, globes. Oh yeah, didn't even see those. They are... There's a Christmas one with the angels. And this one looks like she's in front of a fireplace. I wonder if you can like repair these and refill them with water. I'm sure you can. I just don't know how. I'm looking for that, you know, ceramic left in peace now. <laughs> this is cool. Uh, lunchbox. Cards. It's definitely an old lunchbox though. A dollar fifty. Hmm. It'd be nice to have if you like have a flea market. I can see the selling. Isn't this cool, Janine? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Is this soap? This is so interesting. Looks like soap. This is a really cute tablecloth. I don't know if it's vintage, but how cute is that? It's five dollars, so twenty-five percent off. Do you like this tablecloth? Do you like this tablecloth? That's very cute. That is cute. Yeah. I don't know. Not too much. What did she find? We found something Lego. Do you want to see it? Sure. Well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. World Fair. I do collect World Fair. Yeah, this little boy in here is an Esco, I guess. No, Lego. Oh, Lego, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a little girl for her, too. Hmm. He looks older. It literally has fingers. Does it? Does it? Yeah, look at it. <laughs> it's a little scary. But I think it's older, no? This is a cool vintage Kellogg's cup from 1996, I think it says. Yep. Pretty cool. These are unmarked, I don't think they're that old. Japan. This is a really cool old toy. Does it have a year on it? Yeah, back there, right? Is that the light? Can you read it? Um, it says... It just said like, Wonder Shoe Fly. It's really cool though. It is cool. And it's a great price too if you collect those. I just found these three towels. Two of them are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This one's from 1990, and this one's from 1988. Pretty cool find, right? Pretty awesome find. Yeah. They're in pretty good condition. They are in great condition, and there's some sold comps on eBay for like 20 to $30. I don't know about this King Kong, though. I couldn't find anything, but this is also marked 1988, and it looks, looks great. So I'm going to grab them all. And they're all like $3 or something. So pretty cool. We are back. We're going to take a look at everything we got. We went to quite a few different places today. And I've also thrown in some stuff in here that I've gotten on eBay in the past few weeks. So a bit of a show and tell here. Okay, so I found these bump chenille pipe cleaner things. And they're made in Taiwan. 
I know a lot of older ornaments yeah. are made out of this uh, pipe cleaner type stuff. So I thought that was cool. Got this little pig. No marking, but she was really cute and only $1.99. Thought it would be cute for St. Patrick's Day coming up. <laughs> we went to the antique mall. The only thing that I bought was this really awesome... I've never seen this before. Apparently it's a blinking Santa. The box is a little beat up, but look how amazing this box is. Laura, isn't this box great? This is really cool. I love that the box is here, you know, the original box. And it's just so fun. It is broken, but we can easily tape that up. Yeah. It says right here that it's a Commodore product. So Commodore made it, also made in Japan. And it's made out of plastic. I don't know if you can tell on camera. But it's plastic, it has some like mica glitter type stuff on it, and the top is kind of a paper, but I'm going to gently take this off. Oh cool. And here's a light bulb, and then you would unscrew this, and a C battery goes inside of it. I don't have any, obviously. And this, I think, just blinks. How cool hence, is that? Hence blinking Santa. So, really cool, I've never seen it before, pretty unique. He is really cool. He's shedding everywhere, though. Oh, Look at all yeah, this. He, he is. <laughs> at the thrift, I went down the toy aisle because that's what I do. There's always something hidden lately. Look at that. And I found these two elk inside of this bag of toys, which I find really funny. There's actually a just broken wheel to, like, I don't know, some sort of toy. And then these two elk, which are definitely old. Too bad his antler's broken over there. Yep. But it's not that noticeable. No, it'd be a good crafting one. Yeah. And then this guy. He belonged to a sled. Mm-hmm. It's just crazy that, like, that got put into here. I guess whoever was sorting the bags thought it was a toy. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's like a little plastic animal. You'd think it's like, you know, yeah. a toy. So, pretty awesome. Nice. At the thrift stores, the only thing I found as far as Christmas was this planter. Little snowman guy. He's cute. I wasn't sure. really cute. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he was vintage or not. I pulled back the sticker. There looks like there's an old sticker on it, but... Hard to tell if he's a Japan piece or not. He looks it to me. Maybe 80s, though. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably going to sell this guy. I thought he was cute, though. He is really cute. And then I want to show you guys these towels that I found. So this is the first towel I found. It's actually marked 1988. It is, I think, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle design. Really cool. It was $3, and this sells for, like, $30 on eBay. It just has awesome graphics. It's got the year at the bottom such a cool thing to find the color is amazing it's like this towel has never been used yeah great condition a collectible piece so this is really cool to find the second beach towel i found was another uh teenage mutant ninja turtle i think this one's marked 1990 so a little bit newer but still vintage it has a small bleach stain but i think i could still sell this on ebay and get a good return i spent another you know three dollars on this it's just really cool to see these pieces from the 90s and the 80s. Yeah, this reminds me of being a kid. So cool. And this last one is also from 1988, and it's a King Kong towel. Really cool. I don't know too much about this or, like, if there's much of a following. If anyone knows, do please let me know. Couldn't find many comps on eBay, but I do think this would sell. So, Janine, let's take a look at these because that was, like, a thrill in that antique store, and we haven't really looked at everything. Mm-hmm. Um... It's been a minute since we went to an antique store. It's been a quite well, a while. an antique mall. Yeah. Me. Um, and they did have a great amount of vintage Christmas. And, you know, the prices are always... Varies from seller to seller. Yeah, and sort of expensive, right? Hmm. But um, not all of this is from the antique store. Some of it's from eBay. But, but yeah, everything's a bit more expensive at the antique malls. But it was pretty good because we went when it was 20% off. Yeah, that definitely helped. Um, so let's see. From the antique store, I found these little Santas. They have cotton spun heads and little chenille arms and bottle brush trees and just really great detailing for one of these pieces. 
I got a total of, I think, I got a total of like four or five of them and I paid $4 each. Um, I have to keep some of them and the rest I may sell, but how cute are they? Those are so cute. This guy was also from the same seller and he was only marked for $2. I don't know why. I think he's equally as cute. This little angel, she also has that cotton spun head. Oops. Um, and she was like $2 or so. She's so cute too. She is. This little bottle brush. Mm -hmm. This little bottle brush wreath was about four dollars, and you could tell it's vintage from those mercury beads. Obviously, vintage Christmas is our thing, right, Janine? Yeah. And, I, you know, if you guys want to know more about like how you can identify, let us know. I don't want to like bore everyone by saying like, oh, you can tell because of the mercury beads. But I don't know. If you guys are interested, let us know. We could like go into detail, but mm -hmm. I won't for now. Um, <laughs> these I also got. I can't remember how much. I think I definitely overpaid for them. And they were like 12 Yeah, something like that. And I was planning on selling them. So, I don't know. I might have to hold on to them for a little bit. But these are um, vintage mercury bead picks. And I think people would decorate with them. You know, put them into floral arrangements back in the day. Mm -hmm. I found this little Santa. I don't... Oops. I don't think he's marked. But he would probably be a Japan, maybe a West German Santa. And it looks like he's playing like the guitar or something <laughs> he's just really cute and he was only like seven dollars or so so that's a pretty good price these two janine actually spotted them yeah i was hoping that you were gonna want to get them because they're so cute they are really and cute. they're not something that i would typically pick up because you're more of the ceramics person here. Oh god, I'm so bad at ceramics. Yeah, as you can see right here. <laughs> <laughs> I love ceramics. I think they're my favorite. But um, I think they're just marked Japan. You know, they're probably like a Lefton or a Commodore piece. But they have really cute faces. Yeah, she definitely is really cute and probably pretty sought after. These like anthropomorphic bunnies for Easter. They're just really cute. And they go on top of pillar candles. They're like little can candle climbers. Yep. I think is what they're called. Yeah, I think so. Um, they need a little dusting up, but they're cute. Mm -hmm. I got this little pin, which I've seen on eBay before. Um, you fell in love with that pin. I did. It's definitely <laughs> mid-century. Um, I've seen it on eBay before for a good price, and I think I paid like 10 to $15 for it. A little more than I wanted to, but I've been eyeing this for a while, so I grabbed that. Janine bought this valentine for me. I love dogs. It's really cute. Do you want to hold it open? Sure. How cute is that? Makes a great valentine display. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. But even better, you you spotted yeah. this. I While well, I surprised you with that. I was yeah. like, oh, no what? This was really surprising to see. Yeah. And it was very affordable. <laughs> so this is, I don't know, I think like this is a pretty collectible piece because it has this like candy shop girls on it. They came in like ceramics as well. Um, just really sought after. This was only $1.50. This card could probably go for like, I don't know, maybe $15 or so. Um, so great find, Janine. It's in great condition too. Yeah. Thank you. The colors are great. I think we're going to hold on to this for a while. Mm -hmm. Really good find. So that was everything we found at the antique shop. I just wanted to share these for you guys that have been hanging out with us for a while. I found these angels on eBay um, for a great price. I think I paid $13 for the two of them maybe. And they're just these little cute angels with the paper wings. And it actually has a little loop so you can hang them and a zipper. Um, and I think you used to put candies in them and... This one was originally a blue. For some reason, these fade really easily. They're made out of felt, right? I think so. Like the that. red always stays in great condition. Yeah. Look at that. Imagine how pretty that was. Yeah. Her apron was that bright blue. So that's too bad, but otherwise they're in great condition. Yeah, they're really cute. They have little yarn hairs. Um... So I snagged these with the intention of reselling them, but I don't know. I might have to hold on to them for a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> um, Santa on a bike. 
this I got on eBay, part of a lot, a really good lot actually, um, with some ceramics. I wanted to keep him and then sell the other ones. I just love Santa on various modes of transportation. Um, this is a Lefton, made in Japan. He's just a Santa planter and um, he came a part of that lot. He is a Lefton, but made in Korea, so a little bit newer. I'll probably end up selling him. He's cute though. Mm -hmm. So very cute stuff. All in all, had a really fun weekend. Yeah, we did a lot. Hope you guys had a fun weekend. And a fun, well now, I hope you have, you have a fun weekend. <laughs> yeah, we're going to probably go out again. Maybe some new maybe, places. Maybe. We'll have to see on Tuesday. Thanks for joining us, guys. Please subscribe. It really helps us out. And let us know what your favorite find of today was. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.